Well, the injury happened on January the 3rd of last year. I, uh, I fell and I injured the right shoulder. So I, the next couple of days I went back to my primary care provider and they took x-rays, but it didn't reveal any fracture. So I gave it about three months and I just didn't have the mobility. It, it just was, it was, you know, the pain was there and everything. So I went ahead and got an appointment with Dr. Moore and saw him and he ordered the MRI and I had that and that revealed a, um, a two torn um, tendons or ligaments in the right shoulder. He suggested I have surgery. And I said, you know what? I live alone now, I'm out in the country, I'm on 10 acres, and my husband just died a few months prior to, I've never been alone before, and I was worried about, I wouldn't have any assistance during the recovery time, so I said, why can't we do uh, physical therapy? We'll try that first, so he agreed. And um, it was just an awesome experience to work with uh, Jessica, because we kind of formed a, a bond, you know, and uh, she understood, she's very supportive and encouraged me to work hard at this because I was going through a lot at that time, you know, grieving over my husband and we, we both did, you know, we were very adventurous. And well, now everything stopped and I wanted to continue that. I, I was listening to some of her stories. We both would share stories uh, during our sessions and I was just so amazed by, she was such a, a, a thrill seeker, just like me. When Maddie came in to see me, she had a shoulder injury and she was trying to treat it conservatively without surgery. So we started her therapy and she started doing great. And uh, she made really good positive outcomes. And while she was there with me, we were, talked about all kinds of things. Her husband, um, different things that she wants to do in life. She told me that she had a bucket list that she wanted to try to get to. And so, of course, my initial instinct as a therapist is to say, okay, let's get this shoulder better so that you can get back to doing those bucket list things that you want to do. Well, you know, I never had a bucket list until I was going through the grief support system with Hospice of the Ozarks. And I started going to the grief support every week, and I still do. I've been doing that for 24 months now. And uh, Charlotte Rep is the bereavement coordinator, and she uh, encourages all of us to develop a bucket list because to strive and to live life again is really honoring the memory of, of your loved one. You know, I'm just not ready for that rocking chair yet. I want to keep going as long as I can go. Fast forward to Christmas of this year, I got a package in the mail at my desk, sitting on my desk, and it was a Christmas card from her with multiple pictures in it of her doing all of those things that we had talked about. And um, it was just really great knowing that she was able to get better and kind of get past some of the hard things that she had had facing her in her life when I saw her and uh, that she, she did what she set out to do, which was really awesome. Yeah, so everybody has a different story. Uh, in her case, we were lucky. She uh, was driven to get better, and we saw a chance that non-operative therapy could get her through this, and it did. So she avoided having it, and that's always the best route. We weren't gonna do any damage. We had a good chance of getting her back to good function uh, without the surgery, and it worked.